for the orchestral video, we spent so many phone calls, so many Skype sessions, just thinking of, you know, the best way to showcase this very unique song and this very unique situation where you have a pop singer doing a completely classical and orchestral version of one of her hits. So uh, it was a huge feat and I'm, I'm glad we took all the time we did to do it because I feel we made a very appropriate and very impactful representation. Um, doing the two was great because it provided a contrast for each other um, where the frameworks could stay the same. And if you watch the video side by side, you can see that the framework was very much the same with their respective differences. Um, the radio edit had a lot of quicker cuts and you know shots of, of special effects that we designed in-house while the orchestral edit had more uh, slow shots of the orchestra and slow shots of the players. And we worked on set that day to really bring out the emotion and what the players were doing to be able to capture that on film all the moving pieces that were involved and everything behind the scenes in both of the videos just worked so well for each of them as their own pieces of art. And I can't wait to put both of these videos out side by side to see how each of them do and to see how people intake this strikingly unique project.